Week 12. Yes, week 12 is here and ready to fire up. Gino the Gent here with my man Ulysses S. Hate, and we are all set for another week of PPL Live. We're deep into the season, uh, two weeks left in the regular season, and now it's really time to get down to the nitty gritty. Who wins the conferences? Who gets the wild card? And who's going to set us up for the final four? Starting with the prestige matchup of the week, we have the Skulls taking on Patty's Twins. All right, man, both of these teams um, are coming into this matchup uh, seven and uh, four. Both teams uh, really can't afford a loss, but then again, at the same time, both teams' playoff positions seem somewhat secure, although the Omega Conference title remains on the line. What do you think of this matchup, man? Uh, is there a chance for either of these teams to still win Omega? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, the, the UP didn't didn't look, you know, uh, great last week. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, I, I mean, I'm looking at, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, right now, what, what you don't want to, I mean, you almost want to get the four seed, uh, as I see it. Uh, I mean, really what either of these teams are trying to avoid is a first-round matchup with the Argos. It's mm -hmm. going to be much more challenging than either a, a rematch between these teams or uh, playing the UP. Uh, I'll just start. I've got the skulls in this matchup. Okay. Uh, Jeff, Jeff Driscoll, I mean, he balled out last week. That was more indicative of, of Dallas, shit, Dallas's shitty defense than okay. anything else. True. Um, I'm not so sure uh, that, I mean, she's got a couple of San Francisco, the coach. She's got, she's got Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman, I'm not, I mean, he wasn't looking the same. And, I mean, you're, they're playing Green Bay on, uh, on a primetime matchup. Right. Uh, uh, Aaron Love showing out in, in primetime matchups. So, I, I, I mean, if Jeff Driscoll stays in the lineup, I'll be shocked. Uh, <laughs> Michael Gallup had a great game last week. So did Sutton, Jack Doyle, nothing. Brian Hill was non-existent. I think she's going to go in a lot of different lineups. But as the lineup is set now, I just look at this other side and think Deshaun's going to come back big. He got embarrassed. The right. whole team got embarrassed. Uh, and, and I think they can get it in Indianapolis. They see them twice a year. So I think they're going to have a better scheme. Um one big question mark I have is Brown's coach. I would never play the Brown coach. It's just you're you're rolling the dice out there. So I don't know what he's thinking in that regard. Right. But I think up uh, up and down the lineup, I think he just he's he's got people that can that can score. Uh, getting Aaron Jones back this week is big. So I I think that uh, he he learned his lesson. He ain't he ain't going uh, double dipping on a coach defense. So I've got the the skulls winning this one. I'm gonna say one twenty one. Uh, I'm going to say it's close, though, 117. All right, uh, I'm going the other way. Patty's Twins, uh, they made a statement last week. No Aaron Rodgers, no problem. The Twins still put up uh, a nice scoring effort uh, last week. Uh, Austin Eckler uh, got involved. Now, he won't be involved this week, obviously, because of the buy situation. But I'm lo I'm starting to love the uh, rapport that I'm seeing with uh, uh, Sutton, with uh, Allen, and, of course, Michael Gallup. He's starting to gain Dak Prescott's trust, so I'm loving our receivers there. I'm with you, though. Uh, DJ Shark needs to get into the lineup. Uh, a little bit of controversy surrounding him uh, this past weekend, but he's definitely a guy that uh, Patty's Twins um, is going to need in their lineup, especially with no Keenan Allen or Robert Woods presently in the lineup. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, he definitely should get, get the start. Uh, even though Jeff Driscoll's was playing the Redskins, he is on the road. He's not at home, so I, I think that's going to be a bit of a uh, tough matchup uh, for him on that side. On the Skull side, I'm with you, man. Uh... I think Deshaun should bounce back, but at the same time, he's taking way too many sacks. He's hanging onto the ball way too long, uh, waiting for the big play instead of just getting the ball out of his hands quick. Indianapolis' defense isn't bad. They're, they're pretty solid, so I can see them giving Deshaun uh, a few more fits. Le'Veon Bell against the Raiders, I mean, while the matchup looks, looks inviting, their defense isn't very good. Le'Veon just hasn't been that guy this year. Uh, obviously we talked about, uh, the 49er Green Bay matchup. I like Aaron Jones there. I don't love him. I think that that, if the Packers are to win, that is going to take, uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, in a, in a great air game. Like you said, an impressive, uh, night game player he is. So maybe that'll get, get them going where they want to go. I like Marvin Jones Jr. But once again, Driscoll on the road is going to be a question mark. Uh, he's going Hunt and Cleveland head coach. So he's doubling down now with Miami. That's probably the safest week to do that. But in the end, I think that the Patty's Twins ha has a little bit of magic. Um, and I think that they uh, take steps to uh, possibly uh, stand in the hunt for that Omega title. I got Patty's Twins winning this matchup 124 uh, to 120. 
Moving on to our next matchup in the PPL, we go into the Alpha Conference as only for the boss takes on the defending Pantheon Cup champions, the Argonauts. All right, man, the boss, I mean, he's spoiling seasons left and right. He He's really putting teams, you know, uh, down. Uh, the week before, it was Patty's Twins. Last week, the Mean Machine. Uh, now they uh, can, you know, possibly put a speed bump on the Argonauts' road to the uh, Final Four. Uh, what do you think of this matchup, man? I think we should move on. The Argos are going to win this one. Oh, wow. I, I mean, uh, there, there's zero probability that only the boss wins with the Chiefs on a bot. Uh for, for, for shits and giggles, I'll say 135 to, mm, I'll be optimistic, 68. Wow. Uh, so I've got the Argos pick. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, I mean. Let's talk about matchups that matter. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm with you. I think the Argonauts win. Um, an Argonaut victory clinches uh, the Alpha Conference title for sure. An Argonaut win or a uh, squad underestimated loss and Alpha is the Argos. I say that the boss doesn't provide much resistance. Uh now, I mean, if they set a lineup full of free agents, who knows? We've seen strange things happen. But I'm with you, man. I'm going to go Argonauts win this one, uh, 124 um, to 94. Moving on to our next matchup, we go into our interconference matchup of the week as the Omega Conferences appease the gods. Take on Alpha's baby gas team. All right, man. Uh, these two teams, uh, well... Uh, the baby gas team, they last week was their shot at, uh, you know, keeping their season alive. Uh, they fell to the Argonauts and then appeased the gods. Uh, Could have played spoiler on their hated Omega rivals, the Twins, uh, but they fell short. Both of these teams falling short. Both of them pulling up the rear. What do you think of BGT ATG? Yeah, I've got a piece of the gods in this matchup. I mean, uh, they, they, I think they've learned their lesson from that get cute. Go with the Chicago Bears three player shit. Right. I mean, they they they, they played three Chicago Bears and still cracked a hundred. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, that was just poor coaching, um, and and I don't expect it to happen in this matchup. BGT, on the other hand, I mean, they they, they put up a valiant effort. I mean, they 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 they, they kept it in that game. Right. Um, I, I really think that they have all the pieces. Uh, I think in hindsight, this is going to be one of those seasons for BGT where you're just going to wonder like what happened. Right. You just look up and down this lineup, and they're strong. Uh, they're 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 strong. I mean, Ravens coach. I mean, it, you know, Lamar on the other side. I think that this is potentially going to be the most exciting matchup of the week because okay. I think both teams could really score. I've got a piece of the gods in a leave no doubt performance, one fifty two to one thirty nine. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you, man. Uh, I think that uh, some of the fight may have left the baby gas team uh, last week. I mean, they haven't set their lineup yet. And even when they do, they're, they're going to be without Dalvin Cook. They're going to be without Melvin Gordon. And they're going to be without the newly discovered Christian Kirk. Um, now, some of the guys that they replace in that lineup, you know, could possibly, you know, be some good filler. But in the end, I, you know, I, I really don't. I don't really think so. Like you said, uh, Mark Ingram was amazing uh, last week. Uh, that touchdown that he ducked down under the uh, Houston defender and sprinted to the end zone was great. I mean, just his whole game last week, he was aggressive. Um, and, and he was the hype man. I mean, we saw how he, uh, you know, christened Lamar Jackson post game. Uh, Mark Ingram has been uh, awesome this season and so have the Baltimore Ravens. Speaking of which, ATG uh, has the king of the Ravens on his side, Lamar Jackson. I mean... I, I wish I had a vote for league MVP because I think the brother deserves it. I mean, if he can stay healthy, keep winning, and get the Ravens in one of those top two AFC slots, I, I almost think it's criminal if he doesn't get it. Um, looking around at other guys, I love Mike Evans against Atlanta. Uh, garbage City, as we've talked all season. I mean, if Atlanta does get up, I, I would expect Mike Evans to have maybe 200 yards of receiving because they have no secondary there. Julian Edelman, I expect the Patriots to uh, really uh, bring it against the uh, Dallas Cowboys. This is one of those marquee matchups that uh, everybody's going to have circled on their calendar. Everybody's going to be watching, and I think the Patriots are going to uh, want to acquit themselves well. So I like Edelman there. Uh, A-Rob, if Chase Daniels plays, I love Allen Robinson against the Giants. If it's Mitchell Trubisky, I don't know what A-Rob's going to be able to do. Bills D against Denver, great play. Uh, Seattle and Philly's more of a coin toss, but Seattle is the better team. Uh, that all around and and the un the unsure um, lineup of the BGT has me picking ATG in this one, uh, one twenty eight uh, to one nineteen. 
And moving on to our next matchup, we go into the Alpha Conference as the desperate, struggling, clinging to life squad underestimated takes on the spoiler mean machine. All right, man. So here we are. Squad underestimated still has outside hopes of an Alpha Conference title. Outside no, hope. Wow. No, they don't. Wow. Uh, and they're playing the mean machine, who I, I think has a good chance of playing spoiler this week. Of course, the machine... Uh, devastating loss to only for the boss um you said they don't have a, a chance man let's hear it well i mean they had to win i mean they had to beat the, the gas last week um i mean squad lost to, to atg and the gap and these these teams are bringing up the the, the seller here I right mean, you, you cannot afford to lose it uh to be winnable teams, I, it's just disappointing. I, I, you know, I was rooting for squad early on this season. Right. I still look at their lineup, and I think they're one of the most talented teams. Man, Debo Samuel out there trying hard. Right, real Andrews. hard. Andrews. I said if 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 he was gonna be if he was gonna win, it was gonna be those those Ravens would would have a day. They both showed up. Right. The problem, and I've said it all season with this team, is quarterback play. Right. Jacoby Brissett is not the guy. He's not your guy in fantasy. Hell, he's barely the guy for the Indianapolis Colts. So mm. what are you doing? Yeah. And so, you know, you had Kirk out there. I'm not sure Kirk's the guy okay. for, for fantasy purposes. I think that he needs to go out there. If, if he wants to be serious, he needs to find a stable quarterback. Okay. Neither of these guys. He's got Saquon. He's got Christian McCaffrey. Probably the two best young running backs in the league. In right the game, now. right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, so he's got the people in place. I don't know what's happening with me, Michigan. He picked up Baker Mayfield. Wow. I don't know what's happening over here. Mm. So, so squad will win this game, but it's, I don't think it's going to be enough to really boost their, their, their playoff chances. Again, I think if he, like, he needs to, 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 I think, look at this moment and say, what kind of team do we want to be? And I think that he could figure out a way to get a better quarterback. There are plenty of them out there. Um, but he's going to have to make a package deal. His okay. playoff hopes are over. Set yourself up for next year. That's my advice to the squad. I think he gets this one handily, though. I'm going to give it to him 128-111. All right, man. Uh, unfortunately for squad, I'm going the other way here. I, I do think that they still have an outside shot of a playoff spot or e even um, possibly winning alpha, but they're going to have to win this week. And they've been in must-win situations the last few weeks, and, and they, they've kind of fallen off. Um I'm looking at this matchup, and I don't think that this one's as, an, as easy a matchup as maybe you think it is. The Mean Machine, despite uh, Squad eliminating them from last year's Final Four, the Mean Machine's pretty much own Squad underestimated throughout these two teams' history. I don't know what it is, but it seems like whenever they play, Mean Machine shows up and, and puts the Squad down. Um, and I'm sure Mean Machine's going to want to end Squad uh, underestimated season after Squad underestimated ended their season last year. So there's a lot to this Alpha Conference rivalry. Uh, I know that, that you're shitting on Bake, but I got to give them some credit. They're playing Miami this week. Bakers look pretty solid at least the last two to three weeks, so I don't I don't mind that start. I love Kamara and Michael Thomas at home against Carolina. Uh, I don't like Saquon uh, against Chicago. I do not like him in that matchup. I, I don't feel like he's did providing... You, did you not see Todd Gurley last week? Yeah, I did see Todd Gurley, but have you seen Saquon Barkley the, most of this season? I mean, the brother has not looked like the guy that was the number one pick in the PPL draft last season. He's not getting the only game that he showed up was a game uh, a few weeks ago where I think he caught a touchdown like on the one yard line. He's not he, he can't even get one yard. I mean, I'm seeing this guy get stuffed at the goal line left and right. This guy had 13 carries for one yard. Saquon has disappointed squad underestimated and he's part of the reason why they're sitting where they're sitting. Uh, another big reason is Adam Thielen. He's not going to be available because of the bye, but his injury really slowed down the, the uh, pace squad underestimated has set earlier in the season. I like Debo Samuel, but he's already had back-to-back 100-yard -back games. I think that that's a regression to the mean type of play right there. Um, I'm just I'm just not feeling it. Now, on the machine side, he, he's going Russian roulette here. I like the Bo Scarborough play. I like the Hollister uh, play at tight end. I, and I, I like Devin Singletary. I like the double dip with Baker and, and Odell. I, I think machine gets this. I got machine winning this matchup uh, 129 uh to 114 i think that mean machine in squad underestimated uh you know to return the favor uh from the uh 2018 final four and moving on to our final matchup we go into the omega conference 
as the United play as the Destroyers. Number one team in the PPL, eight and three, take on the Gaff Attack. All right, man, the Gaff Attack is playing spoiler. They're, they're ruining people's seasons like they uh, possibly did to squad underestimated last week. Uh, but got caught up in a little bit of a uh, controversy regarding a, a, a trade with Brandon Cooks, DJ Shark, and so I mean it was a league wide email, man. What, what's going on there? Shit, you tell me. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, maybe maybe there needs to be some some I don't know sobriety test before you can post. Wow, I was confused. Um, I was confused. I don't know if it was meant for the whole league, mm -hmm. but I mean, it was embarrassing. I mean, I mean that's, the, that's really that's, does the that's whole really league does the whole league need to know about that? I mean, honestly, I would I would take a page out of Lamar's book if I was the gas. Nobody cares. Work harder. Wow. I mean, there's a bunch of silly shit happening over there. Uh, you're salty because you may not be where you think you you should be, and I, I'll, I'll half agree with you until I see that your starting quarterback is Jameis. Mm. Um, so I, I think the gas is is uh, in a similar spot. I think as as. Uh, Squad. I think that this team really needs to find a quarterback. Okay. Um, they've got depth in other positions. I think that they could they could figure out a, a way to get a, a top tier quarterback or or again spotlight that in next year's draft. Uh, that being said, they're not going to play spoiler on the United players. United players again inside track for a number one seed in the PPL. Right. Um, the you Imperial know, Throne waits. Well, and they didn't look great last week, and they still won. I mean, and that's, to me, a uh, hallmark of a good team. Um, you know, even if you're not at your best, you can still eke out a win. And right. sometimes you, I mean, hell, I'm, I'm heard luck works whether you believe in it or not. So, <laughs> um, so I look at his lineup, though, and, I mean, he's got, I think that Tom Brady and James White might shit. I mean, I know Tom Brady does not like the Dallas Cowboys. He's mentioned it. Grew up a, San, a Bay Area kid. Right. So he wants to go out there and shit anyway. Uh, Eric Henry should have a good game. I think Cooper Cup's going to have to have a good game if, if the Rams are going to stay competitive. I hate the defensive play against Dallas, though, because I expect that game to be a little bit more high scoring. Okay. But it's nullified. It's nullified with the guys playing the Rams defense. Mm. That I would sure as hell not be playing any defense that's playing Lamar Jackson. Right. That's just foolish. And nobody figured out the solution. I have no reason to believe that the Rams. Um, I'm going to say. 118 to 140. All right, man. I agree. Uh, United players. I agree. Um, I think the United players are going to get this win, uh, and I think that they're they're on the death march to the imperial throne. I think that uh, you know all season long that it's been gamesmanship from these guys. Uh, anything that has needed to happen, uh, they've been able to to make all the right moves, and, and it's been in probably their most impressive season in the PPL. Um, looking across the way uh, at the gaff. I I do like uh, Jameis against Atlanta, but I mean, there's other guys in this lineup I I don't like, and it's not because they're not good players. It's just the matchups are bad. Baltimore with Todd Gurley, uh, I, I don't really like uh, D Hop against Indy. I think Indy has a pretty solid defense. We talked about that a little earlier, and um, I don't know. I mean, maybe Tyrell Williams wouldn't be a, a bad play. Uh, I did say last week Darius Guice uh, needed a look, and looks like the gaff is going to go there. That's going to be an intriguing play. But in the yeah, end. Good. Yeah, he, he he looked pretty good. He he ran hard and he showed decent hands, and that's going to be something that uh, really makes him valuable down the road. But in the end, on the other side, the United players, I think they have way too much. Um, Tom and and, and uh, James White, I think that they're going to open up their passing game this week. We saw Jeff Driscoll have a good game against that Dallas defense. I expect Tom to bounce back. Uh, Derrick Henry, uh, that's going to be an interesting one for him against the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. But he's a great tough runner. I love the way he plays, and I mean, any play, he can take it 80 yards. Uh, Cooper Cup, uh, I guess that, I mean, at least that's his trump card against the gaff on Monday night because he doesn't have any other Monday night players. But that matchup is going to be tough sledding, I feel like, for the L.A. Rams. Uh, all around, uh, you know, we talked about Chris Godwin. Uh, I think, uh, while I think Dak can make some plays, I think he, he's going to probably get turned over a time or two against that Patriots D. Uh, Buffalo coach against Denver. United players have the matchup in their favor. I have the United players, the Destroyers, winning this matchup uh, 135 uh, to 126. I think it's going to be a high-scoring, fun matchup, but the United players uh, show everybody why they're the number one team in the league. All right, ladies and gents, thanks for another week of PPL Live. Good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. Ulysses S. Hate and Gino the Gent signing off.